Hello, and welcome to Early Years Workshop. On the panel today, we've got Jan de Beel, who's the Principal Officer for the Foundation Stage Profile from National Assessment Agency, Diane Rich from Rich Learning Opportunities, and a special welcome to Chris Ryder, who's the head teacher of Astrid Bank First School in Worcestershire. In this programme, we're going to talk about how children learn through play. Chris, how do you use play at Astrid Bank? Well, we use it every day. And I think it's absolutely fundamental that children have opportunities in play to take risks mm. and explore ideas in their thinking. You can it's... learn so much about children observing them in play or involving yourself yes. in their play. Play is the point at which children demonstrate what they truly know. It's where they incorporate all the skills, all the knowledge, all the information that they've accumulated or they've learned mm. through either teacher input or through their own interaction with other children. What happens if we don't value play? What happens to those children? They form a very different view of what learning is. Mm -hmm. And I think if they're not allowed to explore and take ownership of the skills and knowledge that they've learnt, then they see learning as something that happens to them mm. yes. by other mm. people in school. And yes. they start making that distinction between life and learning. And mm. that's, that's a very dangerous schism. Yes. In places I've been to where play is not valued, from the head teacher yes. right through the school. Play isn't very good, it's not very good quality. Mm. What do you think's in the pipes? Do you think crabs would go well with spiders? Yeah. What's nice is the starting points are very much the children and, and here we see children who have started being interested in spiders. Playing is what children do, and playing is where they do their thinking, where they do their testing out theories of the world, the whole what if. I can see you. I can see you. I can see you. Play is still a, a dirty four letter word for some people, Jan. Well, it is, and I, and I think there's a, a common misconception, particularly outside early years, that um, play is, is the easy option. Yes and that uh, children playing in foundation stage in early year settings is because the teachers haven't planned, mm -hmm. when in fact the planning for play is an extraordinarily complex mm -hmm. and sophisticated business. One of the ways I find it's useful to show children that we clearly value play is catching their stories when they're playing. However short, we listen to children with all our senses, we observe children and we catch the things that they're playing at. Children are playing. They're playing out little stories. Because mm -hmm. if you can play a story, you can tell your own story. Yes. Yes. You're the author. Yes. But stories start off very small, and sometimes they just start off mm -hmm. with a character. Mm -hmm. yes. That's the starting point. I'm going to be the Red Ranger. You're going to be the Red Ranger, and you're going to be Batman. I'm yeah. going to be the Red Ranger. The monkey came with the sheep. In the puppet play, we had one child in particular who yeah. was clearly the story maker. She yes. was like the director, yes. the story yeah. maker. And the sheep said, we will only let you go if you don't give us free questions. She had an idea how it was going to and go. And she also, as she was acting, she was thinking ahead. You could yes. see she, in her mind yes. at least, she had a very definite structure. Mm. Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> One. Big evidence there towards the language scale, the creative development scale, mm. yes. um, PSED. They yes. were negotiating yes. um, how yes. things were going to happen and um, they were trying to make sure that the play continued but they had to involve everybody's mm. ideas. Mm. Do you know what's the scariest Doctor Who in the Doctor Who? Oh, I know, I know, I know! What? It's the one when he has all the faces around his body. Is that the scariest one? No, because I saw the man inside. The werewolf. When 
And then they yeah. had that audience which built mm. up over time. Mm. You could see yes. the quality of that mm. story just, just really holding everybody mm. in. Certainly for practitioners, when they are making judgments on the profile, yes. this is the kind of activity they should be observing. This is where they should mm. be gleaning yes. the majority, if not all, of their evidence. Children in play will try something out. They mm. will use language appropriately. They wouldn't have an opportunity to use that language in a proper context if they weren't playing at it. And the bunny was dead. And then the police told them both up. That's it. How would you like it? Some people looking at the shots of those children being Batman and superheroes might have thought, what's, what's he doing? He's just running around with a bit of old curtain. On. What is going on there? I can't say that's, that's quality anything. Mm. But actually, when you look at the, their faces, each and every one of them has a story, has a real commitment to what they were playing at and what was going on. For them, it was really important. <laughs> I do know a lot of settings who would say killing and shooting are not things we do here. Mm. Why is it in your setting? Because I think these are important things mm. to children. They, they, you know, the whole business of life and death and what happens mm. and is it permanent. They need to explore those issues and play is the perfect mm. arena for that exploration. They were the baddies. Yes. They had to be got rid of. Mm. And then somebody made a mistake and had a goodie instead, and that wasn't acceptable. Ooh, yeah, he said, oh, right, <laughs> no. I'll, I'll re-edit my story yes. now, because yes. I didn't know you were yes. a goodie. They are playing at what they know about to the yes. limits of yes. their knowledge. Yes. And they know about some horrible stuff that's going yeah, on in the world. They and they big do. issues that yeah. adults are trying to grapple that's with, yeah. as much as, mm. as children but are. being able to talk about it makes it less frightening. Yes. 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 Absolutely. There are points in your life where you will feel scared yes. and you will yeah. feel fear. Yes. And, and for children, you need to understand what that feels like yes. and how they then deal with it yeah, to absolutely. build up that, that experience of emotion within, yeah. as you said, a very safe boundary yes. which they know they're setting to be. Because it's all a genuine inquiry. Yes. All of those genuine inquiries are equally valued. Yes, exactly. We didn't have exactly. an example of princesses being more highly valued than yeah. superheroes. The Batmen and the superheroes, well, the princesses too, were creating story. Maybe yeah. that's as far as they'll get, a character yeah. and other characters and a plot. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a story. If you can play a story, you can then tell a story. But lots and lots of experience of playing mm -hmm. at your own story, mm -hmm. that's foundations to literacy. What we're going to do is pass round David Dog. And I'd like you to tell me what you've been doing. Thank I you. dressed up outside. Did you? And what were you when you were dressed up? A princess. <gasps> Olivia was the maid. The maid? Jordan was the baby. Right. And Thomas was the boy that shoots the boys that are mean. Really? It's quite a jump for practitioners to believe that learning goes on without them. And I think for some <laughs> practitioners, they only believe learning happens when they're present. Learning will come through situations initiated by the children. Although we have six areas of learning, there is a lot of scope and flexibility within that yes. to what the outcome might be. And all the way through, the message is about learning and teaching, mm. not teaching and mm. learning. What do you think's in the pipes? Mm. It's about facilitating and enabling children to go in different directions. It's not saying, this is the way we're going. Mm. But we have to take some responsibility for practitioners believing that they have to plan, they have to have a learning outcome, mm. they, which, which is prescribed. I'm very wary sometimes of the, the phrase, well-planned, structured play. Yes. And that is in some of our early years documents. And I think mm. it sometimes has made people think, well, we've got to tell children what to do and what to play, 
Well, if that's happening, that isn't play. Yes. Play means the children are in control. I don't yes. actually think you'd be able to make judgments about many areas on the profile mm -hmm. if you actually didn't have those opportunities. In terms of assessment, that's the point at which we say, yeah, this is really good evidence mm. that they've Absolutely. taken ownership mm. of that learning. If they incorporate it into their everyday play, we know that it's secure. It's, it's embedded, embedded, isn't mm. it? Absolutely. Mm. And I've had a report from somebody telling me you've got a spider in your cafe. He was asking a question. What would happen if I brought my tarantula into the cafe? Which is the basis of all storytelling. Yeah. What will happen <laughs> yeah. if? Yeah. Yeah. So once Absolutely. upon a time, a tarantula yes. came, came into a cafe. Yeah. My goodness, what are you going to do? We're going to eat it. We're going to eat it. Is that what you do with spiders? Chris has been involved in the play as well. Um, is that important or can the adult just go away and do something else whilst the children are playing? I'm very aware, very sensitive, that it is actually quite hard to go into the child's mm. world without interrupting the play. Mm. I make spider stew in this cafe. Skillful intervention of an adult who doesn't want the play to decrease into chaos, which mm -hmm. it might, may seem to an yes. untrained eye, is I can just help them here. I'll add a little bit of the real world. Knock, knock, excuse me, I'm a health visitor. Mm -hmm. Now, what you didn't do is say, don't be so silly, take that spider away, can't <laughs> you see you're upsetting the girls? Yeah. But very often that's also dependent on the ethos in the setting. When an adult approaches the play, the child will either think, oh good, here's a playmate who will support me, mm. or here comes an adult who'll tell me mm. what I'm doing mm. next. That's true. So it's actually about building That's up true. that culture. You enter the child's world. Yes, you didn't absolutely. expect them mm. to enter absolutely. yours. I need to go to school at night. Oh, yeah. Show me you. You need to go to school. Come on. I think one of the key things is the kind of things that you give children to play with rather than trying to be too prescriptive. Yeah. Some children don't like going into the large role play areas. No. So it's important mm. for us to have the large role play play mm. and the medium sized play yes. that they can pick up and take wherever they want to yeah. and then the mini world play. Yes. With those three elements we catch all children. And if you're too prescriptive yeah. with the materials you give yes. them, it yes. actually determines the kind of play Absolutely. they're going to have. The fact that you can't predict where it's going to go is the, I think the, what's, what's so exciting about early years because you have to constantly be in your toes because you, you can't yeah. tell where children's learning is going to take them at that moment on that day. Oh, cool! What? I found a yellow spider. No, you can't touch it. Oh, yeah. If they are to play, they are to work independently and demonstrate those skills, then they have to be given the time and the space in order to do that. Yes. If we accept that play is where children learn, we have no mm. excuse for mm. not underpinning our children's learning with play. Yes. I think play is the most effective way of learning. And I think that children get all of their emotions from their play. And that's all from Early Years Workshop today. I'd like to thank the panel members and especially Chris, who has allowed us into her school at Astrid Bank. And also to the nursery and reception children at Stanley Road in Worcester, who have provided all the wonderful artwork. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>